If you're seeking for the best space-saving PC cases, Mini ITX cases are the way to go. And if your desk is already cluttered with devices and accessories, you don't need a mid-tower or EATX case taking up extra space. So, in this video, we've composed a brief consumer guide and reviewed the top five best Mini ATX cases you can buy in 2024. For more information on the products, we've included links in the description box down below. Let's get started. ASUS Prime AP201 The Prime AP201 is an interesting and unique PC case from the brand with mesh panels on all fronts. This not only looks great but doubles up as allowing for solid access to cool air, and the case starts at 80 US dollars. If cooling potential is your main concern, perhaps no micro ATX case would suit your needs better than Prime AP201. The standout feature of this case is its all-mesh design. Every side of the case is fitted with a mesh panel to ensure maximum levels of airflow. And, despite its compact size, the case is still roomy enough to house a high-end system. It has clearance for graphics cards up to 338 mm long, CPU coolers up to 170 mm tall, and PSU lengths up to 180 mm. That's enough space to fit a Tier 1 GPU and just about any CPU cooler on the market. It also can house radiators up to 360 mm long, so you can fit a 360 mm AIO cooler in this case with no problems. In terms of ports, the Prime AP201 has a USB Type-C connector on the front that supports 10 GB per second. The case also has two USB Type-A ports and jacks for microphones and headphones conveniently situated on the front rather than the top. So the bottom line is that if airflow and cooling performance are the most important factors for you in choosing a case, there is probably no better micro ATX option than the Prime AP201. Fantex Evolve Shift 2. If you're looking for a mini ITX tower and prefer the Xbox Series X look, the Evolve Shift 2 is an excellent choice. It's pretty inexpensive. Starting at 130 US dollars, the case is more visually appealing than most other cases in this collection due to its glass and aluminum structure. It's one of the tallest cases in this collection, at 19 inches, yet it takes up less desk space than a normal chassis. The entire chassis is separated into three major components. The SFX LPSU and a 120 mm cooling radiator are located in the lower half of the case. The top section is where you'll install the motherboard and GPU using a PCIe 3.0 riser connection rather than 4.0, but even with a high-end GPU, you're unlikely to see performance concerns. There is also additional space in the middle to accommodate SSDs and 3.5-inch drives. CPU cooling support is limited, with just a 120mm AIO or an 85mm tall air cooler available for installation. The enclosure can house a GPU with a maximum length of 335 mm and a maximum thickness of 2.9 slots. Overall, the Fantex Evolve Shift 2 is an excellent mini ITX tower. It's definitely not for everyone, but we believe it's a good choice for enthusiasts wishing to dabble in the world of mini ITX. Cooler Master NR 200P Max. While working with a mini ITX chassis seems appealing, there's no denying that creating inside a mini ITX case is no easy task. With that in mind, we propose the NR 200P Max as one of the finest choices for beginners. The case is essentially a more advanced version of the earlier NR 200 case. The updated version of the case solved many of the flaws that plagued the previous iteration. Furthermore, the new case simplifies the assembly process by including a 280 mm AIO cooler and an 850 watt, old rated SFX PSU right out of the box. This should be enough to accommodate even the most powerful CPUs on the market right now. The NR200P Max also includes a PCIe Gen 4 riser cable for the GPU. It features three expansion slots, allowing you to vertically mount even the newest triple slot GPU within this chassis. 
One of the nicest features of this case is that it has dust filters for both the intake and exhaust, which keeps dust away from the components. The front I.O. panel is basic, with two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports and a 3.5mm headset jack. The lack of a USB-C port is disappointing for a case at this price, especially because recent motherboards include a unique socket for USB 3.2 Gen 2. The NR200P Max, priced around $470 US dollars, is one of the most costly cases in this line. That does include the PCIe riser, PSU, and AIO cooler, which is worth approximately $200 to $250 US dollars. If you don't want the bundled products, you may purchase the NR200P non-max, which is simply the PC case for around 130 US dollars. Fractal Design Torrent Nano. The Torrent Nano, priced at 120 US dollars, allows ITX builds to be more similar to typical mid-tower PC case designs. This is because of its larger than average size which makes it easier to build in and allows for more common components. You can even fit a 200mm ATX power supply, triple slot, 335mm graphics card, and a CPU coolers have a 165mm clearance. It also has a distinctive front panel design with mesh throughout for plenty of airflow, as well as a side glass panel that allows you to show off components. Of course, the Torrent Nano comes in handy for cooling purposes. There is a 180mm front intake fan, as well as the option of mounting up to two extra 120mm fans at the bottom and one 120mm fan at the back. If you want water cooling, you can install numerous radiators. However, placing a 240mm radiator at the front of the case means removing the pre-installed fan. The front I.O. panel sits above the case and has a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C connector two USB 3.0 Type-A ports, a headphone jack, and a microphone jack. Overall, Fractal Design Torrent Nano packs everything from the company's ATX Torrent case into a mini ITX form factor. It's not the smallest in its category, but it is a pretty small PC enclosure. Lian Li Q58. Lian Li's Q58 outperformed expectations, making it the top mini ITX case for the majority of users. This 14.5-liter Mini ITX case has great cooling capabilities and a flexible internal design. The Q58 case comes in black or white and is comprised of aluminum, glass, and mesh panels. The upper half of each side panel is made of glass, while the lower half is composed of mesh. The front panel is totally constructed of aluminum, although it has been painted with a completed split in the middle to match the rest of the panels. The two magnetic dust filters underneath the Q58 are also welcome additions. The case can handle up to two 120mm or two 140mm fans on the top panel and a single 120mm fan at the bottom. This also allows for a 240 or 280mm radiator and a 120mm radiator to be fitted at the top and bottom, respectively. The case also has enough clearance for a GPU with a maximum length of 320 mm, a PSU with a maximum length of 160 mm, as well as CPU air coolers with a maximum height of 67 mm. Overall, Lian Li's Q58 is a fantastic choice for any mini ITX build, and at 145 US dollars for the PCIe 4.0 version and 80 US dollars for the PCIe 3.0 version, it's reasonably priced compared to many other options on the market.